Hello everybody, welcome back to some more War Thunder dev blogs. I know it's been a long time since I did one of these, but I was kind of waiting till an interesting one would come along, and here we have it, the AMX-10M, a French uh, SPG apparently. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe what it is when you look at it, it's just so goofy looking and I couldn't resist putting a dev blog out. So here we have it, it is for rank 5, it is a self-propelled gun or a tank destroyer basically. That uh, has a gun that fires 80 GMs, a 20 millimeter uh, mini turret, decent mobility. Well, it's post-war French vehicle, so you'd expect that, and uh, can be amphibious. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a familiar beast? I'm not so sure. It looks very unfamiliar, as far as I can tell. So, with the arrival of the next major update, the AMX 10M will help bolster the French ground force lineup in and around rank 5 thanks to its decent mobility 20mm autocannon and a 142mm main gun which is a bit odd sorry about the noise outside uh, which is a bit of an odd size 142mm uh, capable of firing anti-tank guided missiles I don't know if that means it can only fire missiles or if it just can Let's take a detailed look to see what this SPG can offer. Experimental guns that were capable of firing anti-tank guided missiles were developed as a part of the Acra anti-tank project in France. So I'm pretty sure we already have the AMX-30 Acra in-game, which is an AMX-30 that fires missiles. French ground force players and their enemies may already be familiar with one particular vehicle that derived from this project, the AMX-30 Acra. Oh, well, there you go which has already been in the game for some time now and has the same gun as the AMX-10M. Oh, I think this one just has a longer barrel. Moving on to the nitty gritty parts of this tank, the missiles fired from the 142mm Acra gun have great velocity and a range of nearly 4 kilometers, which is even enough to scare and take out enemies that are flying a helicopter within this range. True, but I think the 20mm is more for that. We're also going to mention this missile's penetration. These missiles can pierce through 700 millimeters of armor, which is enough to defeat most homogenous armor and even early ERA. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Still, I think it's goofy and quite cute either way. I mean, look at this thing. Derp. The MX-10M can carry conventional high explosive shells. Well, there you go. Which will hope, hope certainly help in sticky situations at closer ranges where the use of anti-tank guided missiles just doesn't quite cut it. Eh, we'll see. High explosive still doesn't really have a place in the game though. Um, the MX-10M's turret also includes a handy auxiliary 20mm autocannon which is useful against lightly armoured vehicles as well as low flying planes and helicopters that you may encounter. Well, there you go. Moving on to an important part of the tank, any tank, the armor. AMX 10M's armor is cast light alloy, so non existent, which is enough to keep out light machine guns and nearby artillery strikes that it may face. However, this does not mean it will struggle, that it will struggle to protect against conventional anti tank shells and larger machine guns that are fired from enemy tanks. Wait, it does not mean that it will struggle to protect you. Does that mean it does have some armor then? I doubt it. Quirky but nonetheless interesting AMX 10M tank will be an exciting addition to the French ground tree and will be coming in the next major War Thunder update, which shouldn't be too far away. I expect that sometime mid September, I'd say. Or maybe late September. That's this dev blog wrapped up. Be sure to stay tuned to our website and social media where we'll be announcing other dev blogs soon. Uh, and there you go. Pretty cool. So, French mains. Uh, there's another funky vehicle for you, and it's actually unique, so I'd give it that. And it looks weird, so I'll give it that as well. Uh, I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like the Saint Chamon, uh, French World War One heavy tank, uh, especially from the side there. But yeah, uh, now that I've done the dev vlog. Uh, that's all I've got for today, so if you like the video, hit the uh, like button, comment down below what you think of this goofy air machine, and uh, I will catch you in the next one.